Hello everyone, this is Robert with SparkFun Electronics and this is your AVC 2015 course preview. We're going to be talking about what's the same and what's different for this year. For those of you not familiar with AVC, it is our annual autonomous vehicle competition. The main difference from this competition from last year's is that we'll be held here at the new SparkFun headquarters. It is located at 6333 Dry Creek Parkway in Niwot, Colorado, which is just a few miles north of our previous location. The Autonomous Vehicle Competition is where we allow you to autonomously run your robot around our predefined course. No buttons, no wires, just it goes. All on its own, all programming. And as you can see from the ground, this is a new building, so we have this nice, new, beautiful black top. It does not have the potholes and cracks like our previous building did. The course is going to be roughly the same size. Be sure to check out avc.sparkfun.com for the full dimensions of the course. And we also have a little GPS overlay so you can right click in Google Maps and find the GPS locations. This year we will not be providing these GPS locations for you. It will be up to you to interpret those locations from the map provided. But we do give you all the dimensions and also the coordinates of our building so you can check it out at avc.sparkfun.com. When each race starts, you will start at the start-finish line and you will go around the first corner and approach the barrels. The barrels can be avoided as an obstacle and then eventually you can go to the next leg which you will go under the hoop. You can go under the hoop for extra points or you can just avoid it. The third leg has the ramp. You can go over the ramp for additional points or with the hoop you can just avoid it. Then you can go onto the home stretch for points. For this year, the point structure works largely the same. Everyone starts out with the same number of time points when you start the race. So the race starts, you get your points, and for every second that you're on the track, you get one point deducted from that bucket of points. While on the track, you can gain bonus points for either going around a corner, going under the hoop, or going over the ramp. In addition this year, we've added a new detail, which is a bonus for not using GPS. The main difference we have for the course this year is the shortcut. In previous years, we only had one course that you could go down, but this year we have a shortcut through the course that can get you more bonus points, but it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. This is the discombobulator. The discombobulator is a spinning disc that is roughly four feet in diameter and it will have a ramp leading up to it and a ramp leading out the back of it and there will be no way to go around it if you choose to go down the shortcut. Once on this, you will be discombobulated, you won't know which way you're going and you're gonna have to figure out how to get through the other side. The discombobulator will cut your time drastically and it will give you extra points. The discombobulator is still a work in progress right now the design will ultimately be like this, but it will be propelled by a gas engine sitting off to the side of it. The RPM will be varied throughout the day, but we're not gonna spin it terribly fast. It probably won't go that much faster than this throughout the day. So expect not just to be able to drive right through it, but we're probably not gonna have it fast enough that it would just throw you off of it. The actual finished dimensions of the discombobulator will not be posted on the site, so this video will be your only reference as to the size of the obstacle. Also, we might be painting this before the race, so do not rely on object detection as it might actually look a little different than this. Also, keep in mind that there is a weight limit to the discombobulator. Right now, it pretty easily holds about 250 pounds. Just notify us if your robot is going to be beyond that because this might pose an issue for the discombobulator. But, it's pretty reliable for up to about 250 pounds. This year at ABC, in lieu of the aerial competition, we're gonna try something a little different. This year we've added one and three pound robot combat. So what is robot combat? Well, the idea is we have this arena here, which will eventually be coated in quarter inch polycarbonate to protect from pieces flying around. And what will happen is two robots for three minutes will fight to the death. Um, we have two weight classes this year. We're gonna try the one and three pound battle bots. So each match lasts three minutes uh, or until there's a knockout or a technical knockout, which is if it's uh, flipped on its back or something. Uh, and as far as judging goes, what we're gonna do this year is there will be three criteria points, uh, one for aggression, one for strategy and one for damage. There will be three judges that'll be judging these. We'll combine the scores, find the highest total points and declare a winner. 
The tournament itself will be run as a double elimination, so if you lose your first match, don't worry. There's another bracket you will go into where you can try again, and you can be a loser in the loser's bracket and go all the way to the finals.